What can a green envelope teach us about storytelling? Well, these green envelopes come from the Writers Guild of America. Every time a TV writer writes an episode and they rerun it, they gotta pay us a residual check. It comes in one of these green envelopes. And yesterday I posted a video of me live on the air opening up about five of these, uh, showing people how much money I got paid in the month. And everyone loved it. I know this because a lot of video views, a lot of engagement, a lot of content comments, but the comment that I got most often was, what's wrong with you writers? Don't you know what a direct deposit is? What century do you live in? And it's like, man, you guys are missing the point. Every TV writer I know loves coming home and seeing one of these green envelopes in the mail. Take that away, we would revolt. This is like Christmas morning to us, right? You come home, you see it, and you're like, ooh, what's inside? Is it 10 cents or is it $10,000? And there's all this an anticipation. And I prefer getting $10,000. But when I open it up and it's only 10 cents, and I've had both, really, right? I've had both happen. When I open it up and it's 10 cents, I freak out. Well, oh, man, what's going on? 10 cents? It costs 53 cents just to nail the stupid thing. Why are they even bothering me? I'm wasting my time. That, that's fun. That's more fun for you to watch me uh, open it up and get 10 cents. So this is the same thing with, with screenwriting. It's, yeah, they could direct deposit this. That would be way more efficient. But there's no fun. I wouldn't enjoy opening up a statement once a month. Oh, look, I made four hundred and thirty-four dollars. Like that's there's no anticipation. There's no fun to that. I really we all like getting these envelopes, and so think about that. You know, like when you make a movie, a movie costs thirty million dollars to make. Well, that's a lot. What a big waste! Isn't it just more efficient if they post a make a poster for a dollar thirty-eight and the poster says "boy meets girl" and "boy gets a girl" in the end? They live happily ever after. It saves a lot of time and a lot of expense. There's no joy in that. The joy is the journey and watching the, the, the whole journey of the movie. Same thing with the green envelope. And this is what you should think about when you're writing your stories. Think about me opening up a green envelope. We're building all this expectation. Ooh, what's going to be inside? How ooh, it's going to change his life. $10,000 is a lot of money. A lot of possibilities. Great things can happen. And then I open it up and then reality hits me in the face. It's a, it's a splash of cold water. Ugh, I had these dreams and now it's just 10 cents. Now what is the hero going to do? What's he going to do? What is he going to, that's a story. And that's how you should approach it. It doesn't matter if you're writing a movie, a comedy, a drama, a novel, a play. Think about me opening up a green envelope. That's how you want to unpack all that information. That's what you want to set up and that's what you want to shatter. That's good storytelling. For more on how to be a good storyteller, it doesn't matter whether it's a play, like a movie, a drama, a novel, it doesn't matter. We're telling stories. To learn more about that, you can subscribe and you can follow me here at Michael Jammin Writer.